here are the steps you need to follow if you're trying to sell digital downloads profitably on Etsy. The first thing is you got to do market research. So if you have no idea whether the kind of uh, digital downloads you want to sell, at least at a, at a very minimum, you want to perform market research, right? So market research basically means that you are figuring out what's going on in the market right now. So you want to get familiar with what's there, how it's moving and what's missing. This is important. This is the trifecta you need to uh, understand what's there right now, how it's moving and what's really missing. And what's missing is the third leg of this trifecta that can actually help you step in and actually fill that void. So if you're able to fill that void properly, you will make a lot of money selling digital products on Etsy. Not a problem. Okay. So the thing is that you have to think about, okay, where are we right now? What kind of uh, best selling digital products on Etsy are actually uh, kicking ass right now? And when we talk about digital products on uh, digital downloads on Etsy, you have a constellation of products. So you have printable artwork, you have coloring pages, you have graphics, you have worksheets, you have planners, you have journals, you have logos, you have business cards social media templates, ebooks, spreadsheet templates, you have checklists, you have custom WordPress themes, you have fonts, you have craft patterns, you have Lightroom presets. Obviously, this list is not exhaustive, but this kind of gives you an idea of uh, what's really out there, okay? Now, the, the good thing is that printables are always popular, right? Printable coloring pages, planner template printables, and printable artwork are profitable Etsy digital downloads ideas to consider. So the thing is, when we talk about doing market research, the bottom line here should be what? You need to choose a niche. You need, you need a niche. I mean, you've heard this before because a niche allows you to differentiate yourself. You got to understand Etsy is very popular. It's a very competitive marketplace, especially when we talk about digital products on the platform. So a niche allows you to actually zero in on the specific products or product category that can actually allow you to be seen on the market, to be seen on the platform. So once you're seen, once you have built a large enough following, then you can start actually a branch out into several, uh, into several, uh, several niches, but you have to start with one niche first. Step number two, you want to create the product and you need to set the prices. So step number one, you got to do market research. Step number two, you got to create the product and set the prices. By the way, welcome back to the show. It's a pleasure to have you here. We are having a good conversation. So the thing is that once you have done your research, you have identified the gap, you know that there is a void that you can fill you, particularly you. Okay. You got to create the products. Yeah, you got to create the products. Now, the whole thing is that when you think about creating the products, well, you need to do a couple of things. You can do it yourself or you can outsource the whole thing. Now, that's what we talk about drop shipping. In other words, remember, when we talk about products on Etsy, those products must be handmade. Okay. So whether you're creating a handmade item or a digital download, you cannot price it properly without some information about the production process. This means you should create at least a few samples or test pieces. So you got to know, for example, your expense on materials per item, the time it takes you to create the item. So remember your time, your specific time is very valuable and the size of the final product. So the thing here is that, and, and the same thing apply, the same process applies if you have to outsource the, the test to, let's say a third party somewhere in the States or overseas. Okay. So once you have some samples, you can take photos of them for your Etsy shop, Remember that image images sell even with digital products. So take time to use good lighting and take quality pictures. Okay. This is important. And you can also create mockups using templates and, uh, or you, the thing is that you want to make sure that you compare your prices with your competitors prices. So be sure you don't go too low. You're not trying to start a war to the uh, pricing war to the, to the bottom here. No, you're still trying to make money on the, uh, on the platform. So how do you create digital downloads? Well, you can, you can do it yourself. You can actually use software. You have a lot of software, for example, Canva. Canva allows you to do a lot of work. You can actually uh, ship the work to, I mean, ship the work. You can outsource the work to a third party 
And uh, what we have seen in our research is that a lot of uh, freelancer websites are really also good. You have a lot of great, talented designers on uh, Fiverr, on Upwork, on TopTal, on freelancer.com. Okay, so this is really uh, an opportunity that you can explore. The whole thing here is that you can do it yourself, but if you don't have the time or you're not artistically inclined, this could be a problem. Also, don't forget that Canva, Canva to to actually uh, list only one item or one software tool. You can have. You need to think about the a certain learning curve here, right? You have to do things yourself. But if you don't have the time, though, it's always better to outsource the whole thing. Step number three: You need to set up your Etsy shop. So I, I want to quickly remind you, boss, that I'm having a conversation with you about how to sell digital downloads on Etsy. So step number one, do your market research. Number two, you want to create the products and you need to set the prices. Step number three, you need to set up your uh, Etsy shop. And the thing is, you can't make money on Etsy without creating a shop, right? So setting up your shop is pretty intuitive. But if you run into trouble, you can check out the Etsy help section. They have a very detailed help section that help that explains everything to you. So basically, to start, just click on the open your Etsy shop button on the on the website. Then you have to create an account with your email address. And uh, so the rest is pretty uh, self-explanatory. So they'll ask you for some basic information about your online stores including your your language currency and shop name so if if the shop name if your shop name the one that you want is already taken there is a name generator to help you think of a similar name okay so before you start sending people to your shop make sure that you complete your profile it's very this is very important a lot of rookie sellers on etsy make that mistake try to take the time to tell a bit of your story in the about section to help potential buyers learn about you and your products. The thing is that the level of engagement on Etsy is pretty high. Folks want to know about you. Who is behind this shop? Not just uh, a bunch of products there that they no, they people want to take the time to learn who is who are the hands that are just driving this shop, okay? You want to wave some personal information in there to help to in the about section to help you connect with your buyers and you need to connect with your buyers. And adding a personal photo to your Etsy account instead of uh, just a logo or a product image can help build a connection as well. This is very important, okay? So take it very seriously. So to set up an Etsy shop, things are pretty straightforward. It's not nothing complicated. The whole thing takes about five to ten minutes. What will happen here is that Etsy will send you an email that so you need to confirm. You need to actually confirm your uh, your email address and your account will be will be set. Not a problem. It doesn't take that long. But you need to have that if you are trying to sell digital downloads on the platform. And the thing I want to say also is that make sure that you actually maintain a business-like appearance about your store. This is a business that pays bills. This is a business that can actually generate six-digit revenue if you do it properly. So you, you want to start from the get-go with a business mindset. Step number four, you want to add your digital products. So number one, you do, you've done your market research. You have created the products and set prices. You have set up your Etsy shop. This is kind of cool. Now you got to add those digital products, right? This is important. Now, the thing is that when we talk about adding your digital products, sometimes you can actually uh, research and create 10 digital products and you can say, you know what? I'm not going to release them right away. I'm going to re I'm going to release them sequentially. So you have two options here. You can release them sequentially, in other words, step by step to so 1 2 3 or you can re release them simultaneously. The reason why sometimes you want you might want to uh, release them sequentially is that you want to see exactly how the market responds to your creation. And maybe you might make some mistakes and you might say, "Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to actually change a few things here and there." Blah, 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 blah. So it allows you to actually adopt a, uh, a strategy that is kind of similar to what we call A-B testing. So you're, you're testing the market, you're testing the platform and see what works, okay? And so one one thing I want to say here is that once you, you pick a shop name, it's time to start listing items. Be sure to use strong keywords and plenty of details. 
So you want to create digital item descriptions that make people want to buy and answer buyer's questions, okay? Keyword research does not have to be hard or time consuming. So, so you want to uh, think about just flip the switch and become the shopper buying your products. What words would you use to search for the products? Those words become your keywords and can also be helpful when choosing tags for your item, okay? And uh, for, you need to think about the SE the Etsy search algorithm because Etsy search gathers all of those listings that contain those keywords you expertly chose. So it's, it's important to be clear about that. And uh, so those listings are then ranked and presented in the order that matches the closest to the query. So this is kind of cool. And you always want to think about after creating your, your listings, making sure that you think also about the selling fees. So selling fees are about 5% of the sale price per transaction. So you got to think about that. And, uh, but you know, once you start selling digital products and making passive income on Etsy, this fees really would not matter. You know why? Because you are making money and those are digital products that don't cost you that much. It will cost you at the beginning, but once you have the ball rolling, everything should be fine. Okay. So think about Etio. Think about the way you present those items. Think about Think about sequential listing versus simultaneous listing. Very, very important. Step number five. Boss, you need to market your products. Let me just quickly remind you of today's topic, just, in, just to kind of recenter the whole conversation here. We're having a conversation about how to sell digital downloads on Etsy. So the thing here is that, you know, You've done the hard work. You have done a lot of work. You have done a lot, a lot of research. Your listings are up on Etsy. Okay. But you're not, you're not seeing any sales. Well, that's not, uh, that's not that really uh, difficult to understand. You have to start the marketing of your products. Don't make the mistake of just assuming people will find your amazing goods on Etsy and start buying. It really works out. It, it rarely works out like that. So the thing is, you got to tell people about your products. And you can't just drop a link and run. It takes continuous work to market your Etsy store, particularly your digital products. So create accounts on social media platforms and make an email list to, for your Etsy store and start building an audience. This is a long-term game here. This is not a marathon. This is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Get creative. Your audience wants to know about you, your products, and your brand. Okay. Show your products being used. Take pictures of the behind the scenes process. Share the process from start to finish with the time lapse, time lapse video. This is important because if you're thinking that you are just gonna make cash real quick, it's not gonna work. People want to connect. I said this before that on Etsy, folks who want to actually create connections. They want to see who is behind the store. Who are those hands behind the crafts being presented to them, okay? Now, if creating content is not your forte, you can utilize online applications like Canva, for example, to create graphics quickly and easily. Okay. You want to share information in a non pushy way. Please, 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 please focus on building relationships. Think first about building relationships. Be sure you respond to comments and are very honest in your uh, interactions. You don't want to spam your audience, so post a variety of content. Okay, so once you set up your shop and list your products, you might. It's important to understand that the sales will actually come in if you keep at it. You can you can run ads or you can do uh, promotions occasionally on uh, on uh, on on Facebook, for example, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and what have you. It's all about having a strategy in place. This is really important. You can also actually advertise your products on your own website. If you have a website, yeah, this is important. Step number six, you got to think about getting reviews. You know, the thing is that, you know, reviews, people think reviews are overrated, but they're not. They still count this year. You might be thinking, well, good reviews, people actually say, well, good reviews, well, uh, sometimes they, they really don't help. They do help. They always help, especially on, especially on Etsy. Whew. Good reviews will help improve sales of your digital downloads, okay? People want to hear stories from other buyers that you are a fantastic seller with an awesome product, okay? And uh, in, the, in, the, in our expert jargon, we call it social proof. 
Social proof just means that other people are comfortable with your products. So to get reviews, be sure you provide excellent customer support. You want to use proper grammar. Okay, grammar is really important. And you might be thinking, well, I'm just selling uh, digital pro digital downloads. Why does grammar has to do have to do with this? Well, grammar is really important. And you want to be professional and courteous in your interactions. Okay, make products that match your descriptions and deliver them on time. The good thing about digital downloads is that delivery doesn't take time because things are done automatically. Things are, are done in an instant. Okay, so this is great. But you want to follow up also with your customers. Send an email to make sure everything is satisfactory. In your note, go ahead and ask for a review. Okay, you can either ask directly or include it in your signature. The simple ask can help you get more reviews. And this is really important, okay? And so the bottom line here is that you want to be in a situation where you are maintaining high quality customer service so that you can actually glean great reviews and accolades in the long run, okay? This is important. It's just important. Don't let anybody razzle, dazzle you here, okay? If you want your products to skyrocket in SE search results rankings, especially those digital downloads, you need reviews. And not just any review. Your products need great reviews good reviews will not only boost your rankings it's also social proof okay so this is important and what i want to say here is that if you want to get a if you want to get reviews as a new shop selling digital downloads on etsy be quick to respond to customer inquiries go above and beyond to fix mistakes over deliver on your products like including a related a related freebie with uh, their download follow-up after a customer purchases and ask them if you can help them with anything else you can also ask them to leave you a review in your follow-up follow messages very important step number seven if you are trying to make money on the long run on etsy selling digital downloads make sure that you are continuing to sell on the platform this is important consistency is important Okay, Etsy rewards stores that have been on the platform for a long time because you have to understand one thing that nobody ever talks about is that the percentage of uh, Etsy shops that closes every year is kind of high. It's very high. So Etsy really values those uh, shops that stay, that linger, quote unquote, linger on the platform. Okay, and so you want to sell. You got to sell. The platform is, is already crowded, but there is always always an opportunity for anybody to ex, to actually uh, explode, quote unquote. The thing is, going back to what I said at the beginning of this show, is to choose your niche. You want to choose your niche, but just make sure that the niche is profitable and popular. Okay, don't you actually choose a niche that is so obscure that nobody nobody has ever heard about them even people in the niche themselves okay and so you want to constantly actually improve your craft so you want to see, you want to continue selling you want to see what really works you want to engage in a lot of uh, trials and errors on your platform i spoke i've spoken about a b testing to see what works what doesn't work and tweak things accordingly you want to take an Etsy online course if needed yeah i mean you know because you are investing you are basically investing in yourself so it doesn't it doesn't really hurt to actually take an online course about etsy okay think about your keyword research think about your seo your search engine optimization and the bottom line here is that you have to occasionally and this is something that we tell our clients you want you have to occasionally discount your products or provide coupon codes okay because most people and, and let's face it you me everybody else most people are bargain shoppers if you want to make more sales, you want to put your products on sale. Run sales on your Etsy shop often. You want to create special uh, coupon codes for your email subscribers and social media followers. Okay, and uh, so this is kind of cool. And another tactic to encourage repeat customers is to create unique coupon codes for customers who have already purchased from you. Okay, this is kind of cool. And you can also try to create product bundles. If you want to sell more on Etsy, this will help you a lot. So you have a constellation. You have a variety of methods you can, you, you can use to sell more on Etsy. And also, don't forget, you can actually promote your products with Etsy ads. This is actually uh, the, the ad engine within Etsy. And yeah, so this is kind of cool too. It has uh, great results. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I was just having a conversation with you about how to sell digital downloads on Etsy. So recap here. Number one, do market research. Number two, create the product and set the prices. Number three, set up your Etsy shop. Number four, you want to add your digital your digital products. Number five, you want to market your products. Number six, you want to get reviews. And number seven, you want to continue to sell on Etsy. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.